My middle son's 10th birthday, so we've come up here to watch the pies, and he's going to run out. So it's a, he's, he is as stoked as stoked as a 10-year-old can be. They flew out with the team, they got their pictures taken, they're, and they're staying in the same hotel. So they're, they're, kind, of, they're kind of like, like this, but I keep getting these, these, these texts with like, look, it's me and Travis, or look, it's me and Scott. So no, it's, it's really cool. My fondest memory was going to Vic Park with my father-in-law, and he said, look, we've we got to get dressed up, we're going to the chandelier, in the chandelier bar. So I had this image, I'd never been to Vic Park, I had no idea what it was like, so the chandelier bar. So I'm really excited, I've got, I'm fully dressed up. Oh, we, we, walk, we walk into the ground, we walk into the, the grubbiest can bar underneath the members, there's a great rubbish chute beside me, he goes, and there's a freaking neon light in the ceiling, he goes, chandelier, and he just laughs. And I thought, I thought that, that was kind of one of those perfect introductions to Australian humour. And I think we beat Adelaide that day, which was fantastic. And it was um, the essence of what footy is about, which is supporting a team that, that has its roots in, in being a real community club, which Collingwood has. And, and that's, I think that's why I've stayed with me and Collingwood fan. Tired, even though it was a belly even if I won. And it was a good feeling because I won. And it was a really good feeling because I won. And it was really hot with all the lights shining in my face. And it was just so fun. Just chatting to Scott all the way. He said, just um, you can run a lap with us, then just um, get off the side. Yeah, it was really fun.